Hi, I'm Kate Stack and I'm the Property Supervisor at Playwrights Horizons. So Roger is responsible actually for transferring the uh, movie theaters in New York from film to digital. So he's doing what we're doing in the play right now. And so we got in contact with him and he lent us the projector for the show. And we went to his warehouse and acquired a bunch of things from him. Yeah, a lot of our props came from City Cinemas, which, is, which has just done the shift from film to digital. So we went in and scavenged a lot of parts from them to use as props. Roger was the one doing the changeover, so he called us up and said, we're doing it right now, come by today. Eva came in to talk to the cast about what her job really is. The life of a projectionist, what she does in the booth when she's not actually working on the film, what work she does while she's in the booth, and then she also taught us, she confirmed with us that we were threading the projector properly. The show is about the ushers, so they're all cleaning up after the trash that people either bring in themselves hidden in their purses or buy from them. And so there's trash all over the theater that they have to clean up. So a lot of the action revolves around sweeping and cleaning up and just the conversations and the personal interactions that happen. We reuse the popcorn every show. So the stage management team cleans it up at the end of the night and reuses it. And the trash is also reused as much as possible until it gets too gross to be believable as first run trash. We've shellacked the popcorn to avoid attracting mice. So we came up with a sort of kettle corn spray situation where we spray and we dry it and have it all sealed up. We replace the popcorn about every week so that we're avoiding attracting mice as much as possible. A lot of the things in the booth are hard for the entire audience to see. Each individual person who comes to see the show will see maybe two or three feet of booth wall. But because of the sight lines in the house, we really had to decorate a larger portion of the booth. So if you come back and you sit in a different seat, you'll see a totally different view of the booth and see lots more of the exciting details that we got to throw in up there. The stuff on the walls in the booth, we pulled, we pulled a lot of photos from real projection booths and combined them all. So the main focus of the booth is a whiteboard where Rose would write all of her information about splicing that she needs to do and trailers that she needs to add on to different films. The level of realism in this set is so unique and interesting. The tiny little details of getting the gum on the bottom of the seats and the scraping of like years and years of wear on all of these objects has just been a lot of fun to work on and find all of these tiny little moments that really help us tell the story of the flick of the theater. Thank you.